Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the winner and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video I just kind of want to have a, a big discussion video with you guys and talk about if the recent trends of DLCs in Grand Theft Auto Online is something we can expect going forward in the future. So that's right, we've really been spoiled over the last 30 days in terms of being a fan of Grand Theft Auto Online new content. Uh, just to give you guys a quick recap, obviously in the middle of September, we had the free mode events update, which was really cool, brought about a bunch of new changes in game modes to Grand Theft Auto Online. Then just about a month later, we got the announcement of Grand Theft Auto Online Lowriders, and then just about a week and a half later, of course, we now have the GTA Online Halloween Surprise. So that's three pretty awesome DLCs within the span of about 35 days, which is unreal. Nothing like that has ever happened before in Grand Theft Auto Online. And as I touched on earlier, I really just want to talk about is this going to be the new trend for Grand Theft Auto Online? So previously, kind of back in 2013 or 2014, it would be DLC, then kind of month or two break, and then it was another DLC, and the pattern kind of repeated itself. And that was really apparent uh, back in like late 2014, early 2015, when PC was getting released and when next generation consoles were getting released and heists were coming out. But I've got a few theories on why I believe, like I said, the recent trend of so frequent DLCs might actually be something that's here to stay, which is great news if you are obviously a big fan of GTA like myself, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. So my first theory is the completion of all three systems. Obviously the 360 and the PS3, their old generation system has been completed. The next generation or current generation PS4 and Xbox One, that was obviously released late in the year last year. And then of course the PC version came out early in the spring and that's it. Rockstar doesn't have to develop any more DLCs. So I'm guessing their entirety of their team can now focus on just creating awesome content for Grand Theft Auto Online. That had to be a huge burden off their shoulders uh, getting those three systems out. And that's my first guess as to why they now are able to just provide this awesome content. And we started seeing that even in the summer with ill-gotten gains. There was ill-gotten gains one and two. Those happened within 30 days. Nothing in August. And then of course, free mode events, low riders, and now Halloween surprise. That's like five DLCs in the span of like four condensed really quick months. So that was awesome. And I know some of you guys aren't going to want to hear this, but my next prediction is the fact that Rockstar isn't having to work on last generation as far as updating these DLCs for one or two reasons. One, you obviously probably had to have a dedicated team working on putting that uh, content onto the last generation. And two, Rockstar has already stated due to technical limitations that they might have had to actually tone down some of the DLCs, which would have prevented stuff from coming out on PC and current generation. And we've clearly seen that with the free mode events update, stuff that just isn't possible on the last generation. Certainly GTA Online Lowriders, which featured like a brand new mod shop and everything. And I'm not sure why the Halloween surprise couldn't go on old generation. That seemed like it was a pretty simple DLC. But if Rockstar is true with us and what they're stating is correct, and the old generation consoles are just simply out of memory and can't do any more. And that is a real bummer for you guys on there. But it also seems to be maybe one of the silver linings as for why current generation and PC are receiving so frequent and awesome DLCs. So I'm definitely excited to see what the future can hold for Grand Theft Auto Online if my theory is correct. And who knows, maybe Rockstar will start tackling more uh, holiday themed DLCs because last year in 2014, they didn't do a Halloween update. They just did an event weekend. Whereas this year, they've totally gone all out and done a full-blown DLC with cars, clothing, shirts, masks, you name it. So I wonder if they're going to start tackling more Halloween or holiday-themed DLCs. The next one that comes to mind is like Thanksgiving. You've obviously got Christmas, Easter, Halloween after that. So I wonder if we're going to be seeing lots of little holiday DLCs built around these big, awesome, game-changing expansions like Grand Theft Auto Online Lowriders, which of course was super huge and provided a ton of great new content. 
So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below on what side of the fence are you on? If you're on the old generation side of the fence, let me know how you feel about this whole situation. If you're on the current generation or next gen side of the fence, let me know how you feel about getting all of this crazy new DLC content in just a short amount of time. I personally think it's awesome because it keeps Grand Theft Auto Online uh, alive and happy and people are talking about it, which is so great. And of course, it's free content provided by Rockstar, so it can't get much better than that. But like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Once again, if you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.